Hello all, welcome to rotrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we access a BIP, BIP report via URL, okay? So let us get into the content directly. The first thing is like uh, when you have any BIP report, generally it will have an appropriate set of contents, like uh, the URL will have appropriate set of content. But generally the first one is the, here if you observe the sample, HTTP colon slash server colon port, so this is a server. I mean, this is like, like this one will have information about your server as well as the port number on which your BIP server is running. It can be an on-premise one or it can be a, a cloud-based one. And XMLP is a XMLP server is a required static string because that is a server engine that is a like a runtime engine which is responsible for executing your BIP reports. Then coming to the next one, the report directory, nothing but the the location of your particular report. Okay, so generally like a the report can be in a shared folder or the report can be in your particular my, my folder, like where, you know, it is space, where it, the, the file, like my folders where it is available only to the user who created it, right? It is not available to the public, right? There are two things, either it can be shared folder or my folder. Next one is a report name, which is having a suffix dot XTO. It is the name of the report and the report may also have a spaces. If at all, if you are having spaces, you have to mention plus, okay? Now coming to the next one, what are the parameters we can mention? Now, this is the actual location of the report, but now when you're providing this report to the third party, third party application or a third party end user, and they want like, you want to make it a kind of, you know, like a very automated way, nothing but like, uh, you just simply provide a parameter, you'll get the PDF output. Or let us you just provide this particular parameter, you'll get the XML output or Excel output or a CSV output like that. You don't want, you like, you don't want to provide, you, you don't want to ask them to provide all the parameters, simply just mention what parameters they have to pass it, okay? Or maybe dynamically construct the URL and they can get the output. They just need to click on the link, like uh, maybe the URL should be dynamically constructed based on the parameter values. And the, like when they click on the link, they have to get the real time output, right? That's the expectation. So now what are the important parameters which you need to mention, okay? So these are very important parameters which we have to mention, okay? So before discussing about this one, what we'll do is we'll just see the example first, okay? So let me take the first example. So here, if you observe, let me tell you what all I have mentioned here, okay? So let's say, So the first thing is like uh, till this part, this is a BIP instance on which like a BI publisher server is running. Okay. XMLP server, we know that this is a keyword we have to mention. Okay. This is a keyword keyword we have to mention. Now next coming to the XDO file location. So this is a location of the XDO file. In this location, I have provided my report in the my folders only. It is not available to the public, right? So here, if you observe my folders in the Aura trainings, I have my XX party DM. And I'll just click on edit here to just see what is the, what are the parameters it had. So it has two parameters. One is account number, another one is party type. Okay, so now then coming to the next one. So here comes the important parameter, which we have, we have mentioned. So starting with XPT zero, like uh, let us say when you are having the XPT zero, the purpose of this XPT here is, so either you can, whether you want to run the, content within the report viewer or whether you want to export the content. Nothing but later when a user clicks on the URL, whether you want to show the content within the browser or you want to get the data extracted as a file in the output. Okay, that's the functionality of the XPT zero. Next coming to the other one, X mode is equal to four. So now X mode actually you have like a four para, like four values, zero to four. It is all about in like a hiding hiding the parameters or showing the parameters kind of thing. Nothing more than that. Next, coming to the other one, parameters. Okay, so I, you can, like I have two parameters, like a party name, party type and account number. Like uh, you just need to mention key value pairs, like a parameter name and value pairs. Parameter name is equal to value, ampersand parameter name is equal to value, that's it. And now the next one is this one, XT. So here actually, you know, like either you can mention the layout name, nothing but the template name. If you have any of the, if your report may have multiple templates and if at all if you want to mention a specific template to be picked up, you can mention the template or you can just ignore it. By default, it will get the default template it will consider. And the final one is XF where we have to mention what is the output you want to consider, whether you want to have Excel, like it supports large number of formats, like you can observe here, RTF, DOCX, PDF, HTML, PPT, XML, Excel, and all this CSV also, okay? So you can mention the, what is the format you want to have it and then based on that, you can, it will work out. So now let us just run it now, okay? So. Yeah, so here if you observe if you observe this example, in this one, what we have provided, we just provided a URL, okay? Now let us say, I'll just mention Excel X, right? The expectation is that it has to download the Excel file now, right? So it says some issue, okay, that's fine. Let me try whether it should be small letters. If not, there should be some parameter wrong or some mistake, okay? Yeah, that's correct. That's the value of 
parameter, you know, this XLX was wrong. Okay. Now, let us say if at all, if you want to have, I'll just say PDF one, yeah, PDF. We already executed PDF, right? Yeah, I can mention this. Now PDF got downloaded. Now let us say if you want to see the content within the browser. You want to see the content within the browser. Okay. Yeah, one minute. Where was what was the parameter? If at all, if you want to see the ball, like XPT is equal to XPT should be zero, right? XPT is equal to zero. And yeah, mention this as PDF, right? Then you'll have an inline content because Excel for the Excel sheet, you, you'll not have any plugin with the browser within the browser to display the content. So whether you have XPT zero or one automatically Excel file get downloaded. But for the PDF, you'll generally have a plugin you'll have a Adobe Acrobat Reader plugin. That's why like uh, if it based on the parameter value, if it XPT is zero, it will display in line. If it XPT is equal to one, it will download. Okay, so now what will happen is here, if you observe, let us say parameters are not mandatory, right? Any of the parameter are not mandatory. Okay, now let us say party type. If at all, if you want to add up any value, you can just mention that. Account number, similarly, you can mention that, right? And yeah. And also observe this example, like uh, observe this information, like whenever you're constructing the URL, right? So how do I know the exact URL? Nothing but let us say, how do I know my report URL is this one? How do I get that information? Generally, that is a doubt we generally come across, right? So just, you can click on more. If it shows properties, that is well and good. If at all, it does not show, it's still okay. Just click on edit, right? When you click on edit, it simply shows you information. When you click on edit, it just simply shows you the information and construct the information accordingly. Okay, of course you may have some extra parameters which may a little bit differ, but for understanding the location of your report, you can just consider this way or other way also still there. Now just click on view report. Okay, now when I clicked on edit report and then click on view report, now I got the appropriate parameter information. Like this is one of the a simple clue or a shortcut which I generally feel it is useful. Right now, can you see? I have my server URL followed by XMLP server followed by my report path. So I does not need to worry about my path of the report. Just simply click on edit. Let me show you again. So now let us I'll click on catalog and go to the report. In initially click on edit. Okay. Now click on view report, right? Just start with click on edit and view report. When you just click on open, you may not have this kind of option. Okay. Let me try again. I'll show you again. If we just click on open on this one, right? Almost same. Yeah, you almost you have the same set of parameter. Like you can just try open or if at all, let us say if the URL, you, you could not make the make the URL properly, then try the different op, try the different uh, scenarios. Like just click on edit and then view report. It should be, it should show the appropriate path. And based on this, once you get the report path, then construct the information accordingly. Just construct the information accordingly by providing the parameter with the ampersand name value pairs. That's it, ampersand name value pairs, okay? So this is all about, you know, like uh, providing access to the BIP report via URL. Thank you.